it's Angie with News OK. I'm here at the Orthopedic Associates where they just gave the Wayman Tisdale Foundation a wonderful check to help out amputees who cannot afford prosthetic care. I'm here with Regina Tisdale, who is Wayman's wife. This is so exciting. Tell me about your foundation. Um, our foundation, we uh, provide funding for otherwise healthy people that for whatever reason uh, aren't insured. And so if you're, if you're not insured, we, we give proceeds towards limbs. Exactly, because it can be really expensive. It's very expensive, and until we went through that process, we weren't aware of it. But on one of our visits with Scott, we, we talked about it, and uh, that's when we realized how pricey it could be. And, and Wayman thought, well, why don't we revamp our foundation so that we could help other amputees? So Orthopedic Associates did a golf tournament to help? They absolutely did. About how many people participated? We had about 80 players in the golf tournament, and we're looking for a title sponsor because we expect it to be bigger and better in the years to come. This year, we teamed up with Regina Tisdale and the Wayman Tisdale Foundation to do the golf tournament to raise money. Today, we'd like to present this check to Regina. Uh, it's, there's a lot of twos in it. So it's for uh, $22,274.94. And, and it's a... Uh, Part of my heart's desire to continue Wayman's legacy. If anyone knew Wayman or whomever knew him, you'd know that he's probably smiling down on us because we were able to continue to do some things that he was very, very excited about. So Wayman was involved in the foundation before he passed on. Yes, he was. He um, he chose board members. He made phone calls, and of course, Wayman being Wayman, everyone that we asked said yes, and <laughs> and so we still have all of those those same people three, four years later. What we do is we help people that are without insurance at all. So I know there's different groups that'll give if you have some, but ours is for those that have none at all. So uh, for those that are totally uninsured and that would otherwise not be able to have anything. So the check, obviously, for more than $22,000, that's going to help out a lot. That'll help quite a bit. Uh, we usually, uh, what we try to do is help at least four per people a year. And so this will actually help us with four or five uh, recipients at the golf tournament a couple of weeks back. Um, I, you know, sometimes foundation works get, I mean, it, it can get hard and, but when you see a recipient or a person, it, it, it reminds you of what you're doing. And the gentleman that was there, he was telling me a story about how long he'd been without and he had tears in his eyes than I did. And then it just reminded me of why I do what I do, and I, and again, I can imagine Wayman feeling the same way because I mean, this guy had a huge, huge heart. I know, yeah. I yeah. know, that's incredible. So obviously, Wayman inspired a lot of people, and so I guess this foundation, you're hoping that that continues. Absolutely, absolutely. It's just again a way to keep his legacy alive and keep his name alive, and and it's I mean, it it just it's his personality yeah. to to be able to give. That's so cool. Yeah. Very um, for more information on your foundation, if people are uh, curious and they, they want to know how they can help out and get involved with the Wayman Tisdale Foundation, what's your website? www.waymantisdale.net. What a great organization and wonderful, obviously, that you were given this uh, check, these funds to help even more people. Thank you so much. Thank you.